It's been a long time coming. I watched a video by Chris Costa, you know, uh, with him, with his, uh, his thumpers, as he called them, his lever guns, his Henry's that he had worked over, tacked up a little bit, sort of almost cyberpunking the look of the gun. Um, enhancing the uh, enhancing the function of it. So I went out and I got one. <clears throat> and I have tried to mimic that to the best degree I can. Of course, I, I, I could buy parts and hand it over to a gunsmith. And Roger Ward has beautifully reworked the uh, workings of the gun to where it's just smooth. The question remains, can I adapt to a lever gun system? Am I going to be any good at it? And uh, just how good is it going to be? And well, I've shot it a few times. We're going to shoot it what for me is excessive today. So I think before we uh, go look at a couple of things, okay? Um, I think I need to understand, uh, or... Okay, so I think before we go looking at range footage of the Henry's X, which I've tried to imitate the thumper as envisioned by Chris Costa, I'm not a big fan of that uh, skeletonized buttstock, so this is about as far as it's gonna go. This is my Henry's X4570. You've seen it a few times. You haven't really seen it shooting, though. That's because it had an issue. And we're going to talk about it, that in a little bit. I figured out what the issue was. But the problem I was having, and the, like in, even in the test fires, you weren't seeing it because we were trying to figure out the problem. So Roger, Roger Ward slipped it up. And the action is really, really good now. But... Before he slicked it up and everything, uh, I had not tried to run the gun. I had not fired the gun. So I, tr I go and try to run the gun the first time I'm going to pull the trigger on it. I was uh, happy at how soft it shoots as a 4570 with that muzzle brake on the end of it right there. That, that Comet muzzle brake. Very happy with that. But then, I can, you know, this magazine holds four rounds. And I started having a problem on the fourth round. <laughs> then after we got it slicked up, well, took it out to the range and uh, then we started having trouble again. Now, as you can tell by looking at that footage, um, I've been having problems with this. It wasn't because of the parts I put on it. It wasn't because of the action job that Roger Ward did to it. But I couldn't figure out what it was. And if you look at the footage, what you're seeing is you're, failing, you're seeing a failure to feed for the last round coming out. Now, I didn't know what was going on. As a matter of fact, I was getting ready to toss this out the window, or at least go sell it at a local gun shop. And I really didn't want to, because this is a really accurate rifle. It's, I mean, the cool factor of it for me is just all, just off the chain. And, uh, well, my son, who, my son Todd, who is a, has trained to be a gunsmith, doesn't work as a gunsmith, but he has trained to be a gunsmith, decided to take a look at it. So, um... What we found, what he found, is that this magazine and this follower that goes into the magazine tube wasn't pushing the last round out enough for it to go into chamber to get, to, to get it into battery. So I called 
a few people. I called uh, Ryan Ryan Miller of the uh, Wolf uh, Wolf Companion Channel, Wolf Prairie Companion Channel, and because um, he's a big lever gun guy, much better than much more so than me. And uh, he was going to set me up with somebody, and then we had another chat. I was maybe going to send it to the Mad, Mad Pig, Mad Pig Gunworks. And then it was suggested that if I figured that out as far as the magazine that I have a chat with Henry's. And the chat went a little something like this. Hello sir, this is Ed at Henry's Fine Lever Firearms. What can I do for you today? Hello Henry's customer service. Listen, my name is Bill Frady. I'm a immensely important radio guy in the gun talk space. What do you mean you never heard of me? Well, that's, that's beside the point. I'm having a problem with the tube, the, the magazine feeding tube for my Henry's 4570, Henry's X. Really? Well, I'm really sorry to hear that. Listen, give me your address. I, no, I, I don't have no damn proof of purchase. Oh, no, no, oh, no, sir. I just need your address. If you just give me your address, I'm going to send you one out. No, I... I no, I, I don't need proof of purchase, sir. So, you're just going to send me one of these just like that? Thanks. I was not actually that much of a punk to that nice young lady that was dealing with me. And that's what I was representing. So this came today, and I mean, I talked to them, I think, Tuesday. And today is Thursday. So... This is the magazine tube for the 4570. Made one phone call. They turned it out and turned it around and got it out as fast as they could. There's that. Now I'm going to do something incredibly stupid because it's the only way I can test it. But, which is, um, one of the things that we were having happen was that the only way to get the round into the chamber was to tilt it back, and that's because and that's because gravity was pulling that uh, that last round out. So the only way to test and see this is actually going to feed a round, which I only have to put one in it, is to put a round in it, hold it to my shoulder, lever it, and then lever it out. So that's gonna that's gonna be something I'm going to do extremely carefully, but otherwise I'm not going to know. If this works, if this is the, if this solves the issue, if it solves the issue, I'm a happy person. I'm already sold on Henry's because uh, their turnaround on this was uh, phenomenal. But let's see what we see. Got two. There we go. All right. Now right away, you can see that this one extends a little further out. I don't know that that is going to make a difference. This one feels like uh, there's something catching it. And this is the new one. It feels like it's moving a little more freely. So. Magazine tube is in and seated. Do not try this at home. So what's been happening is it here when I go to chamber a round, and we're going to find out right now, it has not worked. And just like that, it's solved. Now this has got to go back out on the range. Stay tuned. In conclusion, Prior to going to the range, um, let me just say that Henry's customer service, Henry's firearms customer service, they are something else. They are absolutely something else. I've, I mean, they, they took care of me so fast, I'm, I'm still a little stunned, to be honest with you. And this is going to be going to the range, so we'll, we'll take it out again. We'll shoot another 20 rounds. It's getting expensive, man. Shoot this. But, uh, hey such as life the fun the fun of shooting if you like this kind of uh, content I hope you do maybe think about giving me a thumbs up 
maybe you think about subscribing, I'd really appreciate that. And uh, hey, I'm out of here.